Hi, piece of Saunders, uh, 200 pound cold pressed paper. Uh, colours, cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey, a bit of oxford green in case I feel like using it, and some burnt sienna. And this is a food display tray, very cheap. You buy them online, buy a couple of about six pounds, including postage. These ones are very, very durable. They'll last you a lifetime, unless you stand on it. Uh, I'm doing a, a, a late summer, or early, uh, early ploughing for for the winter wheat sort of picture. So it will be autumn colours. And as I've got a little tractor here, probably just a bit too small. But I'll try and avoid it and make it a bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And a, and a labourer is walking along the track here, so all this is unploughed. These are just trees in the background, a bit of, bit of blue for distance. So, uh, wet in wet, I'm going to give this a, a bit of a, a wet. It's very warm and dry at the moment, so this will take quite a bit of water. What happened there? No. So it's soaking right in. It's okay. This is a very good quality paper. Well, so is the song, the uh, Fabriano that I normally use for wet in wet. Uh, but I thought uh, my friend David Dickinson sent me a load of this a couple of years ago now, I suppose. And I'm just using it up slowly. Got some 300 pound arches as well. It's about 50, 15 inches by 11. So, I'll put a bit of a raw sienna wash here and there, just to warm up the, the proceedings. But I want a bit of burnt sienna in that foreground, I think, just to, as, a, as a sort of a bit of burnt umber, a bit of grey, just a, just a bit of a... Earth colour. I could use burnt, burnt umber, uh, burnt, uh, raw, raw umber. I've got some of that. Right, let's put in some bit of bluey, cold, bit of blue, bit of red. Over an autumn sky. Coming across there. And Warm it up a little bit with a bit of that sienna, burnt sienna. Whoops, just clean my brush if it pads up. It's okay, don't panic. When the paper's wet like this, you can do all sorts of things with it. I just want to get that bit darker on, on the top. What's that? Something fell down. Just get a bit of darker stuff over this. Just the sort of front, where the front was coming in. Okay. Clean the brush. I'll give it a bit of a dry now. And I want to put in this background blue, or grey blue. these colours dry uh, quite a bit lighter than when you put them on so I know it's a bit of a panic at first you, you think you've, you've mixed up too much paint but it all sort of just 50% of it disappears but you do get these wonderful soft softer uh, clouds and, and things I love I love doing these I find them so attractive rather than hard edged all the time but the thing is Put it on and leave it, don't muck it about too much. That's where you go wrong, or where people go wrong because they try to overdo do it. It's a bit of, bit of grey, but that's a touch of, touch of paint's grey. Uh, no, too, too grey. Go back to the blue. Probably a bit much 
ですね。Just a background. There's the trees in the distance. Okay, now we can put in a bit of a uh, bit of warmer siennas, reds, umbers. The grey. I'm not used to this paint, but as lovely as it is, it is, it is quite quite superb. Bit of green in. Some of evergreen. A bit of blue in there, I think. So when you paint over wet paint, you need thick, otherwise it'll just vanish. So go for it. Look out some bits and pieces there. This brush is quite new. Working away at it. And a bit of hard, harder stuff. Bushes. Might put a little fire park out there, or maybe not. <coughs> right, let's get some darker, shadowy colours in here. The brush itself is, is quite serrated. I don't know if you can see the edge of that. It's pretty good. It gives a good impression. As you know, there's a lot going on, or we try to make it look as if there's quite a bit going on. It's catching the high spots, and that's where it's still a bit damp. But that's okay, this is the background. Some bit of red in there, isn't it? Sure, this stage whether this is going to go on Patreon or YouTube. I'll do a bit of detail in this when it dries off a bit, but I'm a bit over the top there. Let's just get rid of that. Then. from a, a previous demo, I'm not copying it, but I'm, I'm just using it as a model. But the whole idea was different. There it is. Just a little prop. Right, let's get in some nice greens now. Some blue. Paints grey. Nice. Murky. 
exteriors. time we put in some nice detail in that. So I'm mixing a bit of Payne's Grey with a bit of Sienna in here. Let's go over a dark back with that. Okay. I'm going to put in some some unploughed sort of uh, grassy type of stuff. So maybe a bit of hookers in there, a bit of a so he's sort of ploughing this. He started here and he's going across here and he's going to go into up to that path, that's what I've got in mind. A bit of darker. So he's proud, let's have a bit of grassy. My cadmium yellow and a bit a bit murky with a paint away. And then for that we'll put a bit of sienna, burnt sienna, a bit of raw sienna, neat, thick. But it's still quite damp, so I'm just adding a bit of texture on it while I can. And then dry a bit more. What are we doing? That's right. Okay, so burnt umber, a bit of Payne's grey, and we'll just do these sort of furrows. Down up to there. Now I've got to be careful, I've got to leave that little tractor. I'm not making a portrait of the tractor, I just want to just indicate. Look, it's going right up to the hedge there, apart from the bit that he hasn't done. Quite tricky, it's an impression of a plough field really, rather than an actual plough field. We we'll just put a bit of loose detail in there. Okay, so we've just done that bit there, so... So then we can go back to a bit of grasses. Using the brush to texture, really. I will keep keep away from my man. On a 
have to superimpose him on top of this. Right, this is why I'm doing this a bit light. So it is spade and stuff. Alright, oh, let's just get a bit of dark in there. Let's put some ruts in this track and we can put a little bit of hedge there. More paint's grey on that, eh? Roland Hildre, one of my favourite artists, used loads and loads of black. Still rough ground here. I don't want to do too much. Right, let's uh, with uh, oh, right. let's get some dark trunks in there, which are appearing in the foliage. When you first start using the, the hay, it holds a lot, a lot of water. I might use another hay to do this. So this is just quiet. Maybe it'll wear in. But they're, they're all slightly different. I mean, they're not expensive brushes. Oops. Don't like that. Where's my toilet roll? Well, tissue. Okay, I want to go a bit higher with in there. Bit warm. Okay, let's change that hay for another one. For that one. That one's got a lovely chisel edge to it, but that bit it splits. But now I like to use two. The uh, use use it for most of the fine stuff. Might do a bit with the rigger. See what I feel like. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to work from, those hundreds and hundreds of photographs of, of stuff. Let's get a bit of, a bit of sienna on there. left, a bit of dark, still a bit too much water on my brush here, I want this to show us a bit of shadow. Okay, now we're going over to here. Every so often I go and straighten up the chisel edge. I believe we're not letting the picture do all the talking. 
leave something for the viewer to put in. Connect the dots, so to speak. We've certainly had some fantastic weather in the southeast of England, UK. Wonderful weekend. Went to a huge party on Saturday. You know, one of our local parks, a friend owns a, an old barn, a converted barn, which is a barn. It, it's a, this was once a rural area, but it's not now. It's part of the Greater London. Authority. Okay, put a few in here. Who we went there? Right, a bit of Payne's Grey and a bit of Garcia. It's a great mix, those two. Or you can use. Ultramarine, that's also brilliant. Some dark in there. It's not dry brushing like the Fabriano, it's quite hard to, to get used to. It floods me obviously where the, water, where the paper is still a bit damp. Just take a little bit out of that. I'll do it. But that's where I just want the, the, the detail. Just lost and found. Okay. I will put in a bit of. a bit more texture. Right, let's do a little bit of track to work. He's going to go in dark. So, a uh, little brush here. We're we'll going to use a rigger. It's too long, too hit and miss. Right, so I've used, used sort of a, a warm Payne's grey, I think. So, there's a little tractor in here somewhere, so let's just get the tyres a good going. So he can be seen. Bit of a million. Let's go. Give him a head. Give him a, a bit of grey. Spines, tines. Okay, it's only an impression. I put a little bit of bit of shadow. Okay. Right, let's put the man in. Oh. Um, we we make him a uh, we a bit of a greeny blue, more blue I think for work most. 
Okay, so. And black trousers. Take risks, let's use a flat brush, nice and damp, and let's just put a shovel. Okay, now we'll put a spade colour. Burnt umber for his face or his head. Don't make the head's too big. We'll give him a back hat. Okay, that'll do. Give him a sign off his napper. Okay, uh, With the the hay, we we'll just use a little bit of colour. But I want some shadow, so uh, there's another brush for the shadow. Let's use that one. Alright, oh, it's a bit of shadow. Light coming from the right. Okay, we can put a bit of cast shadow on across here. Right. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything. Uh, bird. Let's put that box away. We'll go back to this one. Um, Crows are more likely to be to be here, aren't they? They won't show. Okay. Right, I think I've uh, done as much as I think I can do on that. Uh, I'll put it in a mount and we'll have a have a look at it. I'm sure it'll look better online than it does when you close up to it. Right. Okay, let's just put that mount on. So there we are. A reasonably, reasonably piece of it. Okay, so there we are. Ploughing ploughing for the for the new harvest. Ploughing for the new harvest. That, that's a, a good title, isn't it? Alright, let's just bring me down. Okay. Right, well thanks for watching. Let's say but that blue does show quite well on the camera and we've got these sort of converging 
lines. He's got all this to do and then probably over here as well. Autumn colours for the trees. A little bit muddy. But thanks for watching anyway. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Go back in again. Okay, I'll let you look at that for a few seconds.